Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome again to Coffee in the Word. Listen, great things are going on. We're in meetings that right now doing stuff. We're in a camp meeting this week. We'll be in church in Oklahoma City down in Mustang, Oklahoma this coming Sunday. And then we're going to do some things. And, and you know, we just finished a, a great trip into Nigeria back in the first part of the month. So July has been a powerful month of ministry. And we're so excited about what God is doing. But we're excited to be able to bring the Word of God to you and just give you some nuggets. These are little golden nuggets that will help help you to just stay strong in your faith and walk with God. Amen. And I've been sharing, we're going to uh, close out this month in Mark 11, 22, 23, and 24 again, because we're teaching on faith in God, trust in God, having a conviction in your heart that, that calls you to stand strong when everybody else wants to run. A conviction that tells you to say what's right and do what's right, whether anybody else goes with you or not. That's faith. That's true faith in God. And that's what the Lord told us to have in Mark eleven twenty two. Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. See, that's his answer to everything. When Joshua was standing there, he'd, he'd, he'd separated everybody. He'd gotten them into their promises and into their places. And then he turns to them and he says this, okay, we've done all this. We've gotten, God's blessed us, but there's more. And he says, but if you decide you don't want to go on, if you want to turn back, that's up to you. I can't force you to do anything. But as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. You know what he was saying? Whether you go with me or not, my conviction is to keep my faith and trust in God. And I'm going with God. And so that's what you and I need. We need to have such a faith in God. Nothing's going to talk us out of it. Nothing's going to discourage you. That doesn't mean you're not going to face discouraging things. And discouragement's not going to come. Listen, we're all going to be tempted, tested, and tried. And there's going to be times it's not going to be fun. But if you'll stay in faith, your faith will get you through those times. In fact, the Lord warns us in verse 23. We've already seen this, but look what he says. For surely I say to you that whoever says to this mountain. You knows that to say something to something, you have to be facing it, don't you? He said, say to the mountain. That means turn and face your greatest fear. Face your greatest obstacle. Face the thing that's telling you you're not going to make it. Turn around and face it through the authority and the power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Know that God is with you and for you and he's going to get you through this thing. Don't run from it. Don't deny it's there. Deal with it. That's what faith does. Faith stands up and says, I know it might be a rocky road, but God's going to get me through. Amen? So he says, face your mountain and say to it, be removed, be cast in the sea, and don't doubt it in your heart. See, doubts will try to come. Doubts will try to say, especially if you don't see it right away. That's why you have to keep holding fast your confession. That's why you have to keep saying it and saying it and saying it and saying it because you're fighting the doubts that are trying to come your way. So he says, say the word, say the word to us, say the word. And he says, and believe in your heart that those things which you are saying shall come to pass and you'll have what you say. You know what he's saying? The Lord is telling you and me, if we're going to live this faith life, you got to believe more in what you say than what the enemy says. The enemy says you're not going to make it, but you say you are. What words are you going to believe? What words are going to be the most powerful influence in your life? The things you're saying or the things the trouble is saying? Because the enemy may say, I got you. You're going under. You're defeated. What are you saying back to it? Because you see, whatever you believe in your heart and whatever you believe that's being said is what you're going to have. So I'm going to believe in my heart that what I'm saying is going to come to pass, and I'm going to have what I say, not what the problem says. Amen? Are you getting this? Grab a hold of this, praise God. And then he goes ahead and ties it into this. He says, therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe you receive them, and you ask them. In other words, just don't go to God begging and begging. Faith doesn't beg. Faith asks and receives. Faith trusts. Faith has conviction that God wants to do this for me, and all he's waiting on me to do is to ask him, and he'll do it for me. Amen? Now, here's the key to this faith. You need to make sure that you have Scripture to stand on. In Romans 10, 17, he says, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. You want to have faith today? Hear what the Word says. Make sure that you're hearing what God says over what the problem says. Make sure you're hearing the Word and not the defeat, doubts, fears, and all the stuff that's trying to come your way. Focus in on what God says. Put your faith in what God says. And trust that God is well able to make it come to pass in your life. Amen? So what are you facing right now? Get in the Word. Find you a verse in the Bible. Stand on that verse and stay with it until you hear it. See, I read the Word until it talks to me. 
Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. You need to stay with the Word until that Word starts talking to you, and then you need to hear what it says. If you're fighting off sickness and disease, you need to hear 1 Peter 2.24 speaking to you by whose stripes you were healed. If you're fighting financial difficulties, you need to hear Philippians 4.19 speaking to you. But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. You need to hear God in His Word talking to you and then release your faith and believe it's going to come to pass. You do that today and you watch those mountains begin to be moved. Watch those prayers begin to get answered and watch your life turn around. Be a person of faith. Faith in God will get you the victory. Amen? Listen, I've enjoyed bringing this teaching to you. Now, be a doer of this word. And until next time, I'm praying for you that God's very best will be yours.